Welcome back to Frequency Stability Analysis Demonstration Video. Now that we have performed the simulation, let us uh, plot and discuss the results. So for this purpose, we have to open our file. So I'm going to go to open and select my out file. From here, I can select the file which I have created, which is gen trip file. And when I press open, so this file open. Now I have to go to plot data. When I expand this and expand this, so here all the data is available. So now first important thing for me is the system frequency. So what happened when the generator trapped in the system? My frequency should vary because my load demand is not equal to generation at this time. So for this purpose, let us see. Now for this purpose, if you see, if I just simply drag and drop, my frequency here are you seeing this thing so what is happening so this was my original frequency then there is a drop in the frequency and then frequency goes down here the frequency tries to recover but it could not then it goes down and then it settles to a certain new value but the problem here is this that if you see the frequency is basically the frequency deviation deviation from the original value or the nominal value it is not the absolute so how can we create the absolute value from this uh, deviation value we again have to create a function so this time let us create a function add function because this is a 60 hertz system so i'm going to use the formula for the 60 hertz for 50 hertz instead of 60 you will write 50 so what do you have to do number one 60 into so what i'm trying to do is 1 plus a I am trying to find how much deviation it is there from the one per unit value and then simply multiplying it by 60. For instance, when I am at 0, so deviation is 0, 1 plus a will be equal to 1 and 60 into 1 will be equal to 60 hertz. So this way I will get different deviations and I will get the absolute. So I press OK and I collapse here my function has been created so now what we can do is insert a page new page copy and paste channel let us drag and drop now you see frequency is now in 60 hertz with respect to 60 hertz so it is easy for me to understand so what is happening my frequency this is Try to fault my frequency is 60 hertz. As soon as the fault occurred on the system, a drop in frequency is there. This rate of change will depend upon the inertia of the system. Higher the inertia in the system, the slower will be the rate of change of frequency. This is the minimum value reached by the frequency is around, around 59.81 or something like this. And then the frequency recovers back to almost 59.87 or 88 value. So this is how my frequency now with respect to this frequency how my mechanical power is changed. let us see my mechanical power so i insert another page let us see how the mechanical power at generator one responded this is uh, please note that this is a hydro generator the other one is a steam turbine generator because we have used the governor model one for the hydro generator one for the steam turbine and one for the gas turbine so all the three should respond differently based on their governor dynamics so first of all let us see how my hydro governor responded so this is the response of my hydro as soon as the frequency so i can see a little dip here then my frequency started to increase but once again this is in per unit so from here the per unit we can check what is the per unit value so here the initial value is around 0.276 so let us see what is this if i go to my uh, tab here and original model my machine at bus number one is 260 mva machine so what does this mean this means that my 260 mva machine so this is based on the turbine rating so 260 multiply by 0 0.275 is equal to 7 71.5 so my generation was almost around 71 72 megawatt which is i'm getting here 
and then it increased to 0.293. So if you want to see it in absolute values, you can create another function. Right click, add function. This time machine is a 260 MVA machine into A. So what we will do, we will simply copy this P mechanical from here and paste it here. Insert a new page and drag and drop. There you go. Now the frequency. So the frequency was around 71.6 and then it increased to 76. So my governor responded with some megawatt, almost four or five megawatt of its generation in order to improve the system frequency. So let us see about the other uh, frequency as well. If I go to dynamics, my the other generator is 310 MVA. So when I come back here, I can create an other function. This time I'm going to select 310 into A. When I select this, so let us simply copy this P mechanical of bus 2 and paste it here. Let us paste it on the same graph. So here. So now here it responded more better. If you cannot see from here, then we can create a new page and just drag and drop just to see the response of this. So turbine was operating at around 163 megawatt and it value increased to almost 175, 176 and then it is settling at around 175 megawatt. So 160, so almost 10 to 12 megawatt came from this. In the same way you can see for the gas turbine and this is how your system reacts. So this is how when the frequency was going down, the P mechanical sense this change in frequency because its rotor speed will start to decrease and with this uh, rotor speed decreasing, the P mechanical increase, the governor increase this P mechanical in order to compensate for the frequency. Now just to see the frequency of the other because this is the frequency at bus number uh, six only what about bus number eight let us let me create another function 60 into one plus a so whether these two frequencies are same or not we want to just see this so for this let us prepare this and copy here paste here drag and drop so see more or less the same frequency so